Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for December 2020. So I hope you're well Gemini. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching message from Spirit. This is the John Holland Spirit Messages deck. Okay, so we have memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with the loved ones who are here in the spirit world, for neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to pull one more, Gemini. Okay. I love the message of this because it's almost kind of like there is some kind of divine hug angel spirits guides people from the other side holding this person in the real world so we have you are not alone we are here for you we never left through all the sadness and loneliness however you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you we are your family friends and guides you never walk alone we walk right beside you okay so, lovely messages. So I'm going to pull three cards, Gemini. The first card is the current issue or challenge that you need help from Spirit on. The second card is the advice from Spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. And just so just take what resonates with you. And remember the Spirit messages can be something big or small or just advice or message. Okay, so what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Gemini, please. Queen of Wands, energy. The Hermit. The Eight of Coins, or the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, this is the Black and Gold Rider Waite Tarot deck. Let's clarify the oh, wrong deck. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Gemini, please. Let's clarify the cards on the table for Gemini, please. What is the message from Spirit for Gemini? So we have the Page of Cups. The Hermit is, wow, it's clarified with the Sun. The Eight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. And bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. It feels for some of you, Gemini, somebody could be coming into your life this month, offering you something. Could be a fire sign. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Queen of Wands. Um, let's clarify a couple of these cards. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands. And we have the Two of Wands. And let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles, please. Okay. The Magician, your ruler. 
So it's a card of manifestation, changing something negative to positive. So the message is memories, you are not alone. For some of you, Gemini, it feels there's an important choice to make. It could be to do with a fire sign. It's not limited to that. I mean, you know, the Queen of Wands, if this is your energy, this is somebody who is, who is, she takes calculated action. She only invests her energy in what is going to bring her growth and success. Is it worth it? Is it worth my time and effort? Is it worth um, going for something like this now? She doesn't just act for the sake of it. Um, it, it you know, there's a kind of... of calculated action coming with this queen of wands so it's either a person in your life or it is to do with you as an energy it is something do i take action towards this this can be a go-getting energy but only with something that is going to bring reward only with something that's going to bring success only with something that's worth my time and energy you know what's the percentage factor in this being successful and then i'll, then I'll go for it you know it's that kind of energy she is a, a natural born leader. She's very charismatic. She's a very successful, very good in terms of money and career. It feels for some of you, you're making life choices and decisions. And it feels in this energy to do with matters of the heart. Is it worth my time and effort? Do I take action towards this? It feels you're at a crossroads and there's an important decision to make. And it's to do with this, this the page of cups, an offer of love. It feels... In this energy that there's been healing in a relationship and you're at that crossroads do i go in this direction or do i go towards this again you know it feels somebody's offering you love romance relationships here and you're wondering is it worth my time and energy but the good thing is with the two of wands is you're making it from a position of being in your power uh, do i take the risk will it bring growth what are the chances of this being successful? So definitely feels like that crossroads energy here. And the message is you take action towards what is going to bring you growth. I mean, the good thing is, I mean, there's a feeling here with both of these energies that the hermit is a card of healing, introspection, alone time. Um, taking some time out to get illumination on how you want to take action in your external environment. And it definitely feels whatever this is, you will get clarity in how you want to move forward. I mean, the Sun card is a card of new growth, celebration, joy, happiness. So it feels in this energy, whatever decision you need to make, it's, there's a feeling of soul searching, answers from within. There could have been some healing associated with what this is offering you now somebody coming back could be a peace offering could be an offer of love reconnection energy it definitely feels you're giving something some deep thought introspection finding answers and how you want to take action but the message is that you will get clarity with the sun and it's a feel good whatever whichever way you go with this you know there's just a great feel good energy with the sun uplifting energy um good things you know things are looking up moving forward uh overcoming obstacles because you can see that child on the horse walk through a brick wall so it definitely is the feeling of putting some kind of obstacle or challenge behind you and it feels like whatever this crossroads is i'm seeing that wall as this crossroads which way do i go the message from spirit is is definitely an energy of this is go with what makes you happy uh sun energy is happy energy joyous energy what is going to bring you joy what is going to bring you growth what is going to bring you success definitely beautiful energy here now yes this could be to do with money career as well um because it's the cups energy i always kind of lead and with the two of cups at the end it always kind of like leads towards um love romance and relationship but it could also be in terms of some kind of offer opportunity here it might take you a bit by surprise but if it's to do with relationships it feels there's restoration here as well uh healing completed you're ready to make a decision or choice in how you move forward here and you definitely will definitely make that decision spirit is definitely saying that everything will become clear in which way you go again i've got the two of 
ones here. So it's a clear energy of being at a crossroads and it's to do with what this, what this opportunity is bringing into you. It feels to do with love, romance, relationships, um, slightly more, but like I said, take it which way you will. Because again, the eight of, of pentacles can be about working through a situation you know, again, changing something negative to positive. What are you manifesting? It feels for some of you, you are manifesting joy, happiness, fulfillment. This is also material success as well. So definitely for some of you, there is an ability to find the magic, to use your talent, experience and knowledge and wisdom to unfold a new path for yourself. You know, that is the magician energy. What is it that you want to change? Because now is the time that you can bring change to a situation um, and put your efforts and energy towards bringing positive change, growth, reward your way. It's also very good in terms of material gain and recognition, the Eight of Pentacles too. Um, but for some of you, I mean, this can be reconciliation, making peace with somebody, changing something negative to positive by your life choices, decisions. This is also this kind of offer opportunity that I think is linked with this page of cups here, Gemini. So this is somebody coming in, offering you something, offering you, it feels like a message of love. Um, and this is the offer or an invitation that is being given to you now, that's bringing, that's offering you joy, happiness. And will there be, and it feels like, again, with this energy, it definitely feels like starting on a new path for some of you, starting over. Um, so there could be some reconciliation here between the two of you, changing something that you needed to, assessing the situation, is it worth my time and energy, do I take action towards this? Then very clearly making some clear decision choice on how you want to move forward, what is going to make you happy, what is going to bring you growth, happiness, success in your environment. Um, and having the ability to change something that was negative, that was healing evolved and negative, even alone time here to something positive. You're at this crossroads. There are two paths open to you very clearly. And one involves this offer or an invitation coming your way, the bond between two people. Now, like I said, that could be in terms of money and career as well. Uh, this is a bond between two people, like-minded souls. So, you know, uh, a, a positive exchange of, of, of uh, what would you call a bond? A, a positive exchange of information between two people. But it definitely feels for some of you that there's a reconnection energy going on here. And you're, you're at that crossroads. Which way do I go? Well, the message is trust your intuition. You will find illumination from within in how you need to take action to overcome the obstacle that you face and bring greater happiness, joy, growth, fulfillment into your life. It's a lovely, lovely energy, Gemini, it really is. You have the magic, that's for sure. And it might well be to do with memories and that's why I'm feeling this is to do with history. It feels there's, there's history between you and there may well be weighing things up in a situation, but ultimately there's clearly some kind of a message of love coming your way. Powerful, powerful message. So life choices, life decisions, which way you want to go, but you're making it from an empowered way. So what do we have for Gemini? Okay, so we have, we, have, we have fun and you too must enjoy yourself. Isn't that lovely? And we have, we're helping to bring a little luck your way. You deserve it. Love the energy here. Love the energy, Gemini. This is number five, that's number eight. So it feels very, very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Gemini, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.